coming to the next topic in an operating system is deadlock so in previous video i explain you about the resource allocation graph so this is the one of the important topic let us see what it is the okay so actually a deadlock is nothing but it is a situation or a condition so in short we can say that deadlock is a problem means it is blocking something deadlock state occur when two or more process are waiting independent independently for an event that can be caused only by one of the waiting process okay so let me explain you with an example so here we can see that p1 and p2 are the process and r1 and r2 are the resources so what it what it is actually we will see so here p1 is already holding the r1 and r1 and it is requesting to the r2 okay but this r2 is already holding by the p2 and it is requesting to r1 which is already already hold by the p1 process okay so in short we can say that p1 is holded by here p1 is holded by r1 and p2 is holded by r2 okay until p2 release the r2 p1 cannot access the r2 same as here also until p1 release the r1 p2 cannot access the so this state you can call it as a deadlock okay so now let us see the condition of the deadlock okay so these are the four conditions of deadlock so when these four hap four condition happen simultaneously at that time deadlock will occur okay first one is mutual exclusion second one is hold and wait third one is no preemption and fourth one is circular wait okay so in mutual exclusion it means that no sharing okay in short we can say that only one process can access or use resource at a time means only one by one it have to follow the sequence okay now in short we can say that no sharing not shareable okay only one process can use resource at a time okay now suppose here p1 is a process and r1 is a resources if p1 is accessing r1 and p2 is not and here p2 is not shareable access to share uh, access to re share the resource because it is not shareable it only share one at a time only if suppose p1 is share uh, sorry if suppose r1 is shareable then p1 can access the p so then p1 can access p2 can access or any process can access the r1 but when it is shareable at a time okay so now next one is hold and wait so here it means that holding one resources and waiting for another so this is an con another condition of deadlock in short we can say that holding one resource and waiting for another holding one resource and waiting for another waiting for another okay so this is the second condition of deadlock now we will see next one is no preemption okay now <laughs> no preemption means so first we will see what is preemption preemption means if one process completed its work it can 
it can need resources back so that another process will take but here no preemption means a resource can be released voluntarily by process itself okay only the process can itself release the resources until it cannot release okay just only volunteer voluntarily in short we can say that a process can release can release voluntarily by itself okay so this is the no preemption now last one is circular weight okay so here we will take generally four process like a b c and d okay so here a so here a requires some resources which is needed by b which is needed by b okay and b requires some resources which is needed by c okay and c requires some resources which is needed by d okay and d requires some resources which is needed by a okay here everyone is waiting for some waiting for some event so this condition you will you call it as circular bit because there is no solution for that so it leads to deadlock state okay so if we prevent any one of the condition any one of the condition as a fall as a false then you can prevent the deadlock so this is the concept okay thank you